Doing things, Steve. We have some central buses that haven't been making their trips, impacting how many of you have been getting to work, school, and other places you got to go. It's one of your stories. News Channel Lines Iris St. Moran asks central leadership, what's to blame? Having a full staff of drivers at Centro has been a problem since the pandemic. Sick calls amplifying what's already a difficult situation. Normally we have a really strong bench we can pull from, plug in another bus operator, and the service goes out. Right now, uh, that bench in the morning is empty. A viewer reached out to the Your Stories team about trouble getting to work because her bus route was canceled. We're, we're trying the best we can. This is not what we want to be for our community. We really want to be the, the, uh, the transportation uh, service that you can rely on. Kegel encourages all riders to download the Central app because they provide alerts as soon as a route changes. If you don't have a smartphone, sign up for our SMS alert system. So if you choose your bus route, you'll get all the information you need to know from you about your particular bus route for that day. Next month, Central will have an open house. It'll be an opportunity for you to fill out an application and also get a hands-on look at what it takes to become a bus driver, including getting behind the wheel. In our usual training session, you don't actually get behind the wheel until you're a couple weeks into the process. We don't want people to get to, you know, down the road and say, oh, this isn't for me once they get behind that big, that big wheel. So if you're considering this career move, they welcome you aboard. In Syracuse, Iris St. Moran, News Channel 9. That open house Iris mentioned, it's January 7th from 9 a.m. to noon at Centro Facility. It's on Cortland Ave in Syracuse. If you're looking to